Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Rifle Chair Channel. Uh, today, we're, I want to talk to you about slings. It is it has always been kind of a, a, a tricky subject because most of the time, I think now, to, especially today, uh, we make online purchases, and so you can't necessarily just go to a store, okay, look at the sling selection, and go, "I want that one." because of this, because of this, and because of this. Not necessarily the way they actually try to sell it to you on the internet, you know You know what I mean? I mean, the, this, the tactility of it, the way it feels, and all that different kind of stuff, and so maybe it's videos like this that will kind of help people to determine whether or not that might be the sling for me, and these are the reasons why. So what I'll do is kind of talk about the different kind of slings that, that, uh, that I appreciate, and, uh, you can take that for what it's worth and use some of it and disregard the rest. Now, I, I know that uh, I'd say probably 80, 70% of the market is comprised of nylon filled slings uh, with nylon straps, uh, plastic components and stuff like that. And some of them are permanently attached to like sling swivels, like the sling swivel is actually sewn into the sling which you just attach to your rifle. However, it doesn't give you a lot of, the, they frequently don't give you a lot of, uh, how should we say, confidence. <laughs> For lack of a better word. And the reason why I say conflicts, is, um, the reason why I say that is because you don't have a lot of, um, you don't believe that it's going to last. It's It's got a foam strap on it and, you know, it, it, the stuff wears out quick. And so frequently what, what, well, not frequently, for me, what, what I'm looking for when I, when I go to acquire a sling is that it's going to have a fairly wide surface on it uh, because you don't want something skinny biting into your shoulder as you have it uh, a slung over your shoulder to, or, you know, um, you don't want it to be necessarily slippery like this one here. Like this is a, I don't know what this is. It's a Magpul, I think, sling. Um, but, and I can get into a good shooting position, um, quite quickly with it. And so it is an attractive, um, sling for me because of that. Um, but it's, it's lightweight. It's, it's going to get wet. You're not going to care about it. There's no, there's no real great adjustability in it, but essentially it's got plastic keepers like what you have here. Um, it was too long, so I just, I basically, which is nice, it's, it's got a little bit of adjustability to it, this Magpul sling. And so I just cut it, and <clears throat> after I fitted it to myself, and kind of how I figured it was going to be used, I don't like having like long pieces um, that aren't being used, getting in the way. And so I cut it, melted it, and it's fine. Like, so I mean, that's one of the benefits of having a, 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 a nylon sling, I guess, is that you can do stuff like that too. But essentially all plastic. I'm not sure that I would want to, <clears throat> you know, rely on this entirely. I don't like the way it feels when I've got it slung over my shoulder. So I actually prefer leather slings. And uh, it's one of the, it's a sling that I wear on this Mossberg 590 SP, 12 gauge. And uh, it's a pattern it's a leather pattern sling, I think 1907, 1908. I think it's a pattern 19. Anyway, and I believe this actually may have been um, originally an MRT sling. And I've, and I've loved it. I put carry it in the field, you know, and, and with my shotgun here. And it, and it's a, a great adjustability factor with it, too. I have the same sling on my uh, number four Mark one T. Magazine's empty, and <clears throat> it's just uh, the the adjustability of the sling is is great. I can use it as a single point sling. I can use it. It's just got all, all kinds of different patterns depending on the style of shooting that you're you're intending to do. Is that these are a great sling once you actually learn how to. It'll make you a better marksman if you know how to. If you have a sling like this, I mean, just because of the different kind of adaptations of the sling that you can use to support yourself while you're trying to make that one shot count. However, I will say that uh, 
I mean, the stitching is relatively robust. The keepers are um, are brass. They appear to be some kind of a, an oxidized brass, or a, it, that doesn't look like a paint to me. I think this is an old MRT sling uh, used in CMP matches in, in the U.S. <clears throat> However, we don't we don't have those here. Well, I wish we did, but we don't here in Canada. I uh, wish uh, we had the CMP here. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I'm able to do a, 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 a quite a quite a broad applications of different kind of st shooting cells with simply because of the sling. However, it's it's uh, it's not particularly thick leather, or I mean, I can I can bend it quite easily. It is rather old because I've been this this particular sling has been on maybe eight or nine different rifles. Okay, so I mean the rifle may get sold, but I keep the sling. So that's going to say something about the sling itself. Um, but uh, so generally, uh, general dimensions is that for this for this MRT style sling pattern 1907. Sorry, if I can't remember, it's in 1907 or what. <laughs> Enfield guys are going to hate me. Anyway, this is not the original sling for this T. By the way, the sniper is not the original sling. Anyway, but it uh, the dimensions of the leather on this is um, so 0.119 inches. That's in the uh, how thick it is. And the width is uh, 1.22 inches, so just over, not quite a one and a one and a quarter. But what that allows you to do is it'll, it'll fit easily in any kind of military sling system, or in this case, the extra wide um, Uncle Mike's type of sling swivels that you can get to fit these kind of military specs, uh, military spec style uh, slings. Um, another sling that I have here that I quite enjoy is the Swedish military sling. And uh, and yes, I, I love this, uh, this sling too. So much that it's on an Enfield Enforcer, which is configured in the, uh, in the target rifle style, as you can see here. Let's see, uh, <clears throat> in case you're interested, this is the uh, PH5E4. Uh, match peep site. It's not a PH5C. It's a PH5E4, which is kind of unique to the Enforcer, as I recall. Um, however, and this is a rifle I will be shooting in the 2021 Cabin Fever Challenge, as you see configured here. Haha! -ha. Yes, it's going to be done with stripper clubs, and they are 303 stripper clubs, but with a 7.62 Nate around in it. Yes, I figured it out. It'll work. It'll work enough for the uh, competition, but the sling, the Swedish sling, is uh, it's not quite as robust even as the the old MRT sling that's been that I've used for many generations of rifles. Uh, but it's really it's still pretty much better than almost anything else that that I can buy that's within its uh, price range. Which what was it? It was like fifteen bucks or something, maybe twenty five bucks. For this sling, and I bought this from Tradex. Unfortunately, as I recall, they're sold out. But keep touch because you, um, they may actually get more in. I don't know, so don't give up on that. I'm just wearing this today because I had nothing to put this microphone on. But I am outside, and it's a little bit chilly, so it's kind of nice. But the uh, the Swedish sling, it's same kind of basic idea. It's going to fit any of these military um, um, swivels that you see right right here, and it is, uh, it's got brass keepers on it right here. And, and a, just a single buckle in the middle for you to, to manipulate it. So it doesn't have quite the adjustability that a pattern 1907 does, but it's just a, a good sling, okay? But it does have adjustability where and if you need it. It's just not quick detach kind of reconfiguration style abilities. Just a good solid, um, Sling, and the dimensions of that are a little bit different from the MRT style sling. This is a, a 0 0.128 inch um, width, sort of depth, and uh, its width is one a, a true one and a quarter inches, so 1.258 inches actually. So it's a bit uh, a bit wider than the MRT, but not by much. And uh, finally, um, what I would say is probably the best of all. The the slings that at least of the, of this pattern 
um, that I've ever seen is easily the um, the sling that you see here on this M1 Garant. And this is the Ron Brown sling. And Ron Brown is, is from uh, Fitzgerald, Georgia, United States. And I'm telling you, man, this is the best sling I've ever seen. Hands down, it's, it's the best leather sling I've ever seen. And it's just finely detailed. I mean, there's no burrs. It's nice and smooth. Um, and it's thick leather. I mean, I've never seen leather this thick on a, on a sling before. I mean, so far as if you actually, when you got it wrapped up, I mean, just look at the width of that chunk of leather right there, okay? This is the kind of thing that gives you confidence. That it gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, so, I mean, this, uh, this particular sling is 0 0.208 inches, you know, okay? And uh, 1.27 inch wide. So it is the most robust sling out of any sling that I've ever had. And I always go for the beefiest slings that I can find. And this is this far exceeds it more than anything. I mean, when I was shooting this rifle with this sling, uh, I, used this, I used the sling. And <clears throat> I really torqued down on it. And it, and it, I wanted to see if it, how much it would would stretch, and it and it wasn't, it wasn't giving it an ounce. <laughs> it wasn't giving me an ounce. And uh, sometimes you do want a little bit of. Um, sometimes you do want a little bit of give I think, in a rifle for for like long distance carry purposes. Um, use this one here for example. Uh, let's say for example uh, you're kind of walking around and you get kind of caught or wedged or this thing grips onto something. I mean, there's, you know, there's the other kind of carry system where you've got it over your head like so because you need both hands and you need to be able to grab onto what your environment is. Just put it that way. To lift yourself up or, or, or to scale down a rock face or something like that. But if you're moving forward and you get the butt stock <laughs> and this barrel jammed between a couple of obstacles like trees, for example, if you're not paying attention, is that they can be have quite a quite a shock as to as the manner of which your whole body stops along with it too, right? So having having a sling with maybe a little bit of give in it isn't such a bad idea. I'm sure the microphone's making all kinds of wonderful noises. But this run. Uh, brown sling. It's extra special, guys. Uh, and if I were to say anything about it uh, over and above that, is that even the keepers are robust leather, and the stitching is it is fabulous. It is, it is way better than this other similarly patterned sling. I mean, the, the quality of the stitching, <clears throat> even, the, even the sling positions are numbered. Right? So you don't, okay, it's number three for this position, it's number five for that position. For the different kind of physical shooting, positional shooters, standing, kneeling, prone, sitting. And, and so your sling may be differently configured with each of those positions. I'm not that advanced. I usually just try to keep it at the same kind of uh, tension for all of my shooting positions if I can. And, but that's by, that's by only, only using one style of sling use instead of all the different kind of positions and sequences and, and uh, adaptations of the sling configuration. Sorry, I was looking for the right word. But even the, even the keepers are awesome. Um, the, metal, the metal itself appears to have some kind of... Uh, they are um, copper riveted onto the leather with very, very, very large, uh, nice, strong... They look like copper rivets or copper coated rivets and the steel on here is probably brass that's been painted with a glossy enamel type of paint. Probably a Cerakote or something to that effect just to to, to keep it uh, um, from wearing off. <clears throat> and uh, the stampings on here are really awesome. You can have them uh, serialed to the rifle that it's on. You can have <clears throat> um, your uh, depending on the kind of the branch of the military, U.S. Marine Corps, Air Force, U.S. Army, um, U.S. Navy, different kind of stamps for if that's the branch that you served in, you can have it with that you know, embossed with that stamped into the, into the leather because the leather is so thick. It can take it. It can take it. And of course, he's got his company logo on here, which is, of course, an M1 Garand. 
Awesome. Totally awesome. I love this uh, rifle. I love this sling. But I, I mean, this is hands down. I'm going to go buy one now. His um, his website is Service Rifles Slings. Service Rifle Slings .com. That's his website. Go check it out. Hopefully, there's no problems getting stuff like that over the border. But custom match slings by uh, by Ron Brown. I I didn't really intend for this to be a commercial for Ron Brown, but if that's the way it works out, so be it. I guess I just did that. <laughs> I just like the sling, okay, compared to all the other slings I've seen. Hope you guys are all doing great. Cheers, and as always, Maple Leaf up.